tell the audience where we're going. Why we're in the harsh ghetto. We are on 7th Street. District. Going to meet with MySpace star, soon to be pop star Kennedy on tonight's Charles Snyder Show from L.A. His hit single is Who's Loving Your Mama. Our special LA guest tonight is Kennedy on tonight's Charles Snyder Show in LA. When you're in the studio, in this studio even, or with your producers, with your recorders, can you tell, okay, this track is gonna be the hit? Well, I try not to write it unless it's gonna be a hit. <laughs> That's definitely my forte. You can usually tell it's a hit within the first 10 seconds of working on it. And then if it's not, you move on to the next one. But uh, usually when I finish a song, I'll know if it's a hit. And I'll say, that's a hit. And then I'll call my attorney and be like, <laughs> get Jimmy Ivey on the phone. We got a hit here. And then they just release it and the world buys them by the millions. What was your first exposure to music? Uh, you know, piano lessons as a child, or what was it? Well, it's probably hard to believe, but I've never had one lesson. I know. Uh, but I think my first experience, uh, was I was a big Barry Manilow fan as a, as a small child. Uh, my mom had Barry Manilow on an 8-track and I was a really big fan of that song, I Write the Songs, you know that song? Mm -hmm. I Write the Songs to Make the Whole World Sing. And then uh, I learned that he didn't write that song. He didn't write, I Write the Songs. And I was so heartbroken, because you know, how could you sing that song? And then finding out later that the dead drummer from the Beach Boys wrote it. I think is, don't Google that, but yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> when, uh, when rap hit the scene, when rap crossed over from urban to our neighborhoods, perhaps. I was uh, there right with what, it, yeah. What'd you, what'd you like about rap? How did that affect you? A rap or hip hop? Um, what did I like about rap? Well, I liked rap because my parents hated it. And any rap record I have, like I, I, I think Two Live Crew was like, like Two Live Crew and Raising Hell, Run DMC were like the like first rap records I really had. Like I had to listen to them on headphones because if my parents heard, them, they'd be like, "What is that shit? That's not music." <laughs> and uh, but from a musical standpoint, like you know, I love you know the early rap stuff, especially like stuff like N.W.A. and like Ice Cube's like early records. Like they're samp, like the the lyrics are great, and musically they're sampling like the best of the best from like funk bands and stuff. So it's like they've got the best like grooves and the best like hooks and it's like they've take they've taken the best stuff and put it all in the one song and then made it into a new song which is like it's inventive and it's I mean not anymore it's not inventive because it's already been done but at the time yes it was inventive and it's just it's really exciting music and you can dance to it but you can't say about Radiohead <laughs> what is source of your style what's the source of my style <laughs> if I told you the source well you, well actually you got a pretty good sense of style too um, how about what's one of the motivators of your style? Motivators. Well, I like looking good. And I like looking good all the time. So I guess that's the challenge. And for me, you know, growing up a poor black child, <laughs> I didn't have a whole lot of money, so I learned to work with what I got. So if it meant borrowing my stepmom's coat, then that's what I did. Very nice. Very nice. Who's loving your mama? Big hit. What's coming up next this year? I got a whole sling of hits uh, planned for you, but we're we're doing part of the Warp Tour uh, starting in July, so we're gonna we're gonna do that, and then um, I'm gonna go to England for a few months and work on a record there, and hopefully have uh, an even bigger and broader hit than Who's Loving Your Mama. For those who haven't bought, who haven't purchased Who's Loving Your Mama, for who don't know it from iTunes, MySpace, Old Fashioned Record Store, can you clarify for us what it's about? Um, or yeah. it's inspiration, please. Well, the inspiration for it was my mom had this friend who was the same age as her, and she kept trying to set me up with her <laughs> to go out. She was like, mid-50s, like, divorced, not bad looking. Like, she was probably really, really a looker, you know, 
when she was a little younger. Like maybe she was like 45, you know, but eh, you know, kind of like, maybe like after six beers, you'd be like, all right, I'm gonna hit that. <laughs> so anyway, I went out, one thing led to another. I had those six beers and uh, I ended up hooking up with my, my mom's friend. And then a few weeks later, I was introduced to her daughter who was, you know, I don't know, like 20, 21. We ended up hooking up and it, the song came from that. You're kidding me. She's like, who, I was like, you know who's loving your mama? <laughs> I am. Um, I felt kind of bad about it, but then, you know, you look back at those things and after like, you know, at first it seems terrible, but when you let like a week go, you can really laugh at it. I'm glad I asked. I'm damn, damned glad I asked. That's the story and I'm sticking to it. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you for uh, letting us see behind the scenes in Kennedy's personal studio, Charles Snyder's show from LA with Kennedy. We'll be back. Oh,